What up, everybody? It's your boy, Ricky Rick, and your boy, Ricky Rick, is back with another Ricky Talk, and today is June 20th, 2021. In case you didn't know, now you know. Your boy, Ricky Rick, is back to do a Ricky Talk, and today is Father's Day, and I wouldn't be feeling good if I didn't post a video to honor my father. Um, so that said i didn't write anything down you know me i just like to wing it and i don't want to like repeat myself over and over again but all i can say me personally as i continue to grow as i continue to become a man as i continue to find my way of being the man that i want to be i have to thank the people who raised me and one of those individuals today I want to talk about which is my father for those that don't know his name is Marcos Del Rio and I want to say my dad is a mix of being a hard ass hard headed kind of dude to a guy who I can have deep conversations with is someone who I known all my life who's been there through the ups through the downs through my struggles has always supported me me as a son what can I ask of a father what can I ask you know all I know is that ever since I was a little kid I knew that I had a mom and dad and all I wanted all I kept asking God throughout my youth was for my parents to remain together and for them to be happy. And God has heard my prayer because to this day, they talk to each other all day long. They communicate with each other. They love each other. They support each other and they got each other's back. My father's relationship with me from father and son has always been I don't want to say it's the most greatest relationship because we do bump heads because he's an alpha I'm an alpha and my dad being who he is taking no shit from no one and you know going out into this world and earning everything he's earned you know my dad has always been the guy, my hero, my role model, my idea of what a man should be, you know? He's, yeah, sometimes he's a hard ass, but he has his reasons why. My dad has taken me in and show me what do I need to do in this world in order to survive, you know, in order to, when the day comes when I want to settle down with a girl or raise a family or start a family, I'm capable of doing it, you know. My dad has taught me the value of a dollar, the importance of going to work and being on time, becoming a leader, thinking, having my own thoughts, having my own beliefs and going after my dreams, you know, taking shit from no one, never backing down. My dad, one of the things he has taught me as well at a very young age is to learn to live life, to enjoy life. Enjoy every second you have because you never know when life can end. And with that said, I want to give a shout out to Greg because Greg was my dad's best friend for a few years and then we lost him on Mother Day's, Mother's Day weekend and every time that year comes around even though everybody's celebrating we always remember him and last night we were celebrating Father's Day at my house 
with a karaoke machine and the guy who likes to sing and he was singing all our songs that we wanted to hear and that was nice you know my dad had a good time my mom had a good time my family my primo my tia my neighbors came over and we all had a good time dancing and enjoying each other's company and I just wanted to bring up Greg because, you know, today's your day too, man. Even though you're not here with us, and I wish you were, because you were an amazing father to your kids. You were an amazing guy. You're an amazing dude. And we needed more people like you in this world. So the fact that you're not here and you're with God, I understand why you're there, you know. And as for me, you know. I have a dream of becoming a father. Um, if I'm blessed and I become one one day, I will be honored. Mm. I feel like me becoming a father one day will change me, you know, more responsibility. And me as a kid, I used to like take care of other kids. Like when my parents would go out with their friends and they would leave me behind with their kids. And I would take care of them. I watch. I would watch over them because I was always the oldest. And I have to say, you know, when you have a little person, whether it's a boy or a girl, you know, they, the way they look at you, the way they need you, the way they like walk up to you, come to you, they want you to pick them up, hold them, hug them, and then you start to play with them and you form a bond. It's special, man. I know I felt that in those moments and they weren't even my kids and once their parents came back and they started crying because you know they remember mom and dad um, so I can only imagine what would it be like to have my own kid um, all I know is that when the time comes and I become a father um, I'm gonna have that pressure on myself to be the best father that I can be and I feel it's gonna change me. Change me and make me better, make me stronger. And if one day I do become a dad and my daughter or my son watches these videos, I hope they can look at, look at these videos, these Ricky Talks as like my diary, my journal, as who their father was, the way I thought, the way I expressed myself. And hopefully with these videos, you guys, you know, feel another type of connection with me and hopefully maybe you guys felt or thought any of the same things that I felt at my age and I just want to say that when that time comes I'm gonna love my kid whether it's a boy whether it's a girl I'm gonna spoil my kid and I'm always gonna be there as long as I'm breathing you know everything that my dad taught me you know I hope to do the same for my kids and everything that my dad has done for me the older I get the more I thankful I become the more grateful I am the more I understand what he did for me and he opened up the door for me and when nobody believed me when nobody know thinks of me like inviting me anywhere or including me on things my dad always does and it means the world to me, you know. You know, sometimes you look to your friends to always be there, to have your back, to support you, to talk to you. And then you don't, sometimes you don't consider your parents being your friends because they're your mom, they're your dad. But you quickly realize that they can be friends too. You know, depending on the bond that you have, whether it's a good one, whether it's okay, you know. Like I said, I have family, and I know I have family in Mexico. I have family in California. Sometimes we don't always hang out. We don't always don't speak to each other. But I am very thankful every single day that I have a really good mom, a really good dad. And I just want to say Happy Father's Day, man, because you're the man. You are the man that made me brought me into this world and helped guide me and thanks to you I am who I am today.
And I hope in my life, with everything that I do and everything that I've done, I make you proud. And I make you proud to call you to call me your son. And I don't know. Hopefully I live up to your expectations. And other than that, I don't want to get too emotional or too serious in this, but I love you, Dad. This video is for you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you for everything that you do. Every single day. As always, guys, it's your boy Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, not making you smile, not keeping you entertained, your boy Ricky Rick ain't doing his job, and you already know. Your boy Ricky Rick does his job. Until next time, this was a Ricky Talk. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. It's your boy Ricky Rick.